Ndewo kekime, ndewo ndewo. So ahambo ijoma. And you know what tagging kuzibo. It's been long. So today I want to share this app that I found. It's good for really memorizing Anki app. It is called in the chat. I have left a link. So if you want to do it along with me, you can download it now. Um on in your laptop or your phone. Um what I want to say is that it is a flashcard app to help you. So an alternative to actually making flashcards manually, you know, like when you have the cards, you write on one side Igbo and then try to remember what it means in English, okay? Or vice versa. Maybe you write in English first and you want the other side to be in Igbo, okay? Um, what this app will do for you is it will make it electronic. And I would say it's good to add cards. We're going to do it. But it's good to add cards on your desktop or laptop and then when you're reviewing, you can review a laptop, of course, and then you can review on your phone. You can sync Anki with your devices. But it's easier to actually add flashcards on the desktop or laptop um, than on the phone. Um, but then on the phone, you can just review your cards. All right, so I also leave links to the videos that I used to know, learn the little I have learned because I just know very little about it. And you can go and find out more if you want to, if you want to like change the settings and just get the maximum. Um, but this is just for a beginner. You just want to get the app and start. All right. So when you download the app, you're going to see it's a default tab, a default deck. So this deck is where you put your cards and it's good to have group this into different maybe topics, okay? Um, what I would say, so what you do, you go down and click create deck. You just give it a name. So this is the language we're learning. I'm going to say maybe level one. So maybe you're a beginner. So this is level one. Okay. So now we have a level one card. Um, the next thing we need to do is you go in and click the gear icon on the right and see if you ever want to rename this, you have an option to rename, rename it here. And then you go to options. So what these options do is it lets you, so I'll tell you, explain what they mean. So if you look at the top, it says new cards. So these are for new cards. So cards you're seeing for the first time, your new flashcards you haven't reviewed, it's all totally new. So what this means is, and usually when you review a card, it will tell you um, to ask you at the bottom, was it very easy, was it difficult? And depending on that, it will determine when to show it to you again, because that's why Anki is really good. It's using the spaced repetition model, which means it spaces your learning when it thinks you know it very well, like you click easy if you really know it more frequently and sooner rather than later. And this minute, this, this one is just the, um, if you see a card and let's say you click difficult, it will show it to you again in about one minute, okay? And after that, it shows you at 10 minutes. And then if by this time you're good with it, it will go to this bit, graduating interval. Then it will show you to show it to you in a day, okay? So it's really one minute, 10 minutes, and then in a day. And after that, if you know it, it will go to like four days. Okay, so this setting you can change. So maybe in when if you're a beginner, I might be saying just leave it. Uh, but if you know, if you have restudied your cards for a while and you know them, you might want to come in and change this because maybe you don't want to see the card in 10 minutes. And it's actually good sometimes to let it let it um, take some time before it shows you. So I will leave it for now, but I'll come back and show you how to change it. The other thing that I want you to look at is the new cards. So how many new cards do you want to look at every day? 25 cards, I think is enough. If you want to change it, this is where you change it. Then if you go here and click reviews, so how many cards do you want to review in a day? So these are cards you've seen before. How many do you want to review in a day? 200, if you want to review 200, that's awesome. If not, you might want to reduce it. So I might, um, I will just reduce this maybe to 50. 50 cards that you want to see. You can make it more, okay? And that's the only thing I'm going to touch here. And I'll say, okay. So now let's create an actual card. 
to create a card, you go in there, add. So actually, uh, I'll tell you what, before, before we create a card, before we create a card, let us create another deck. So remember level one, I, I just titled that, you can change that to begin or something. Um, it's just in the, the first level. So I'm going to create another deck, sub deck. It's good to put the, uh, sub decks. And this is just going to be topic by topic now. So if I say greetings, oh, what has it gone on top? Mm, that was not the plan. Okay, bear with me. Let's do that another way. So I want level one to be the main. Um, the other way to make a sub deck, okay? Um, there's a way you can drag it under. I haven't figured that out yet. But so the other way is to actually type in, so I had level one before, type in two columns and then greet three things. Yeah. Okay. So now we have greetings. And I'm going to create another sub deck. So level one is the main deck. Two colons and maybe introducing yourself, okay? Introductions. See, we have two sub decks. Um, what might be your thought? You might want to say family. So, and then we'll go in later and then put cards, flashcards. So this is like the subheadings. If you want to say that, family, oh, no, no. Remember, I have to put level one, two columns, family. Oh, what's happened? Oh, I created some, uh, I created a new, um, this is not this is not what I meant to create. All right, done. Yeah, I did not. I did not type level one. So you have to actually type the. <laughs> otherwise, it creates something else. Family. Yeah, that's it. Awesome. Okay, so now let's go and add cards. Um. Add. Okay. Did you see what I clicked? So all the cards I'm going to add, basic is fine. Um, they're going to go to level one, which is like the level one, but I want it to go to a particular group. So I want to go to greetings, okay? Um, hmm. I'm not sure this is doing it properly. I'll tell you what, I'll just go in there. Yeah. So I've gone into greetings directly. Now I'm going to add. Yay. It's easier this way, isn't it? So you might want to write in, I want to write in Igbo first, okay? You might want to write English, and then at the back you write Igbo. So just like a card, there's a front, there's a back. So the first thing to show you in Dewo, and you're supposed to remember what does in Dewo mean. So in Dewo is hi or hello, okay? Um, if you have the audio somewhere, you can actually attach it, attach. You can attach pictures of people saying hello. You can attach um, okay, audio, if you, yes, you already have an audio, so that you know how to say it. Or if you're creating it together where there's somebody just by your side that knows how to speak it, you can just record now, so, which I'm going to do now. So I'm going to click audio. Ndewo. Ndewo. Okay. So that's my Ndewo there. Ndewo. Ndewo. And I'm going to add it. So that's one card. If I close this, see? It says I have a new card and I can study it now. So let's study that card. Um, so when you see the card, 
I would, I would advise you to actually say it loud so you remember how to say it. And then when you listen, to see if you checked it correctly, okay? So, and then you think of the meaning as well. What does it mean? It means hello, it means hi. So, before you click show answer, see, it shows the answer. So, it shows you the answer, it also says it for you. And now you go to the bottom. If it was hard, just say again. Then it will show you quite quickly in about a minute. If you're happy to see it in 10 minutes or so, you say good. If you're really, really good, you know it already, you just click easy. Then it will show you to like four days, just like it says there. Okay. So we'll go back to decks. Let's create another card. I'll go to family this time. So this is family. I'm going to add. Let us add na, and you can make sentences as well. Um, let's say nambo, nambo. Looking for a name. Nambo Okechuku. Okay, so this is my dad is Okechuku. So what does it mean? My dad is okay, Chuku. Okay, my dad is okay, Chuku. Um, again, if you know how to, if you have a maybe somebody has already given you audio, audio use is in your um, laptop, you just go and attach it. If you know how to say it, or you just want to say what you know anyway. Um, Nambo okay chuku Nambo okay chuku then I'll save it Nambo okay chuku add okay so let's go and see that card see it's there so if you have like, if you create like 20 cards here, so I would say if you're learning, try and create maybe 20 cards a day, you can even create more. And then you can come here, it'll be new. And if you review it, it's, it also show you that you've reviewed it. So Nambu, Kechuku, what does it mean? So you, you think, okay, oh yeah, it means my dad is okay, Chuku. Or maybe you, you forgot and you said it's my mom. And then you show answer, then it tells you what it actually means, okay? And Nambu, okay, Chuku. Okay. And again, Nambu. before you leave, Chuku. you click good. Actually, so let's click something. Let's just click good for this one. Um, okay. So new. This is a new card because I just created them. It's saying due for review because I clicked good. Um, actually, family, I did not click. Did I click? Yeah, I clicked good in family. So it's going to show me in about 10 minutes again. I didn't click anything in greetings. I didn't say how much I liked it, <laughs> how much easy, how easy it was or not. Okay, hope this is making sense. Um, so that's it really. So you can create as many sub decks as you want or, and you can just create, so I, I can create another deck. So, and I say level two. So this is a totally different deck, okay? That will have its own sub decks again. And it might be that here I go into Again, it might be the same topics, but it might get more advanced. So it might, it might still have family here, but it might be longer sentences and all that. Um, the other thing I want to say, I said I'll show you something. So when you've done this for a while and you want to change those options, so maybe you don't want to see it in 10 minutes, it's too soon. Okay. Um, you might want to change the first one might be 10 minutes. Um, the next one you want to see it in one day, so 140, 1,000 for. Um, up here. Um, 1,440 minutes. That's one day, and after that, you might want to see it in five days. This is actually good. But now that I have changed this part, and I do need to go change this graduating interval. Because if I've written one day here, I don't want this to be one day as well. So you might want to change this to like 14 days. 
which is good. Don't think it's too far. Um, it's good that you see it, or seven days. My mom name every day, Biko. Um, Biko, come see Biko. Um, sorry. What was I saying? So, but like I said, if you're starting, you might just want to leave everything as it was before. So let's take it back. Okay. I want to leave that at one and 10 minutes. That's what it was before. And I will link those videos that will show you more advanced ways if you want to start meddling with the settings later. So remember the other thing you need to check is the cards that you're going to review daily. Let's see. So 50 is a good, because whichever cards is going to say to go show you whether you've done it or not. If you said maybe 100 cards and you haven't reviewed it, it keep showing you that I have 100 cards to review. So just write something that you know you're going to be able to review. Okay. Any questions so far? Adjujo. Um, the other thing I want to say is there is a site. I don't think I've seen Igbo words there. There might be. So you know when I said you can add audio? So if you don't have audio from anywhere, try this site. I think it's forvo.com, I think. Um, if not, I will write the proper link in the description. So usually you can go there and get the pronunciations of words. People just add them. Okay, it's like an open source system. That's what it's called. People come adding things. Um, and if you don't find, you can then tell somebody that you know that can speak able to go in there and add some audio. Oh my god, no, no, I'm in the movie. I'm looking outside. Okay. Right. Um, this is it for now. I might have to do this again because, like I said, it's all new to me as well. Um, but it's something that you can do. See, it is your like creating your own app basically for Evo with, with, with audio, and you can add pictures, like I said, to help you. Oh, mommy got caught in there. Right. I think this is a good place to end this. Any questions, um, Hi, hmm, let me know by email, ijama at ibostudy.com. Call the, oh, call the dalo. Mommy. Are you fed, dalo? Mommy.